straight press conference, no embargo. Pete, we'll start with you, please. Stefan, welcome to Manchester City. Can I just ask you, um, what, what's the mood like at the moment amongst yourselves and the players, the start of a new season, a, a bit of a squad rebuild going on maybe? <laughs> it's difficult um, because there's so, so many new things for me. Um, it's a brand new team for me, um, coaching team, the staff, everything is new. So, yeah, I would try to, to learn every day more and more uh, how the club is is working, and I'm yeah really excited to play and train on the on the highest level. What do you can so? Yeah. What are your ambitions here at City? Yeah, at first to to improve and try to learn, and then um, yeah, I will push. I will push all the mates. I will push Ederson and try to to show my best performance and to to reach also a new level. Because I think I'm now I'm good, but it's not the limit. So I really hope that the work together with Chavi, the goalkeeper coach, will bring, will me bring to the to the next level. A chance to work with Pep. I mean, how how exciting a prospect is that for you? Yeah, in yeah in the result with all the guys. At the end, you have Pep as a manager. I think he is one of the of the best managers on the world. So it's. Yeah, really interested to to see how he worked. Um, yeah, and I think yeah, I will improve and learn every day from him, from the other guys, from the teammates. So yeah, I'm really excited. Thank you, um, Stefan. Welcome to Manchester City. You, you've said first and foremost the goal for you is to improve. What is the law of Manchester City to bring you here? Oh, can you explain um, that? Why would you want to come? Why ah, would you want okay, to sorry. Um, because I see here a, a big chance for me um, to collect new experience. Um, yeah, my 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 old club is not not a big club in Germany. So um, this year is a really big chance for me to play in one of the best worlds of the world. Um, so yeah, it makes sense for me because yeah, I can improve. I can learn. Um, I have now the chance to to be a part of a team like Manchester City. So that's why at the end I'm here. Have you had conversations with Pep and has he told you what he sees your role as? Uh, with Pep, no. Just with the uh, goalkeeper coach, uh, Xavi. Because uh, Chiki said to us, uh, for the goalkeeper, uh, Xavi is the chief. Um, yeah. When he had the idea, they trust him and believe him. Yeah, and Xavi was yeah, the guy um, where I spoke the most of the times. Thank you. Hi, Stefan. Um, welcome to Manchester City. Manchester City have a very clear vision on how they like to play, and that involves certain demands on the goalkeeper that, that maybe other clubs don't. I just wonder how excited you are about that challenge of showing your ability, not just with your hands, but also with your feet. Yeah, I'm looking forward to to play with this style of football because I think I have the quality um, to open the game from my position, um, to keep calm and uh, play good balls, and also um, yeah, to, to save the shots. I think yeah, this style is the best of the world because you play with a lot of confidence. You you will, yeah, I don't know how I can say, but uh, you play to demonstrate you are stronger than the the other team. So, yeah, that's that's uh, incredible. So it's something you're excited about and, and you're comfortable yeah. doing? Of course, yeah. And in terms of the group you're coming into, Edison has obviously been the number one in recent seasons. Do you envisage challenging for the number one spot or, or are you looking just first to, to maybe get those opportunities in, in the cup competitions? In the beginning, yes. But... Um, yeah, Man City is a, a big club, so they need uh, in every position many guys on the top level. So I will try to to push Ederson on a new level. Um, I try to learn also from Scott Carson uh, with a lot of experience. So yeah, I don't know what happened um, from day one. I will try my best, and um, yeah, for me it's clear I want to to stay between the sticks and not to sit on the bench, but. I know how the situation is, so that's how it is. 
yeah, you have to be realistic when you're coming into a club like this. You, yeah. you might not immediately go into the team. But yeah. Are you excited about being, being part of that group and working together to improve each other? Yeah, of course, because it's the first time for me that I have a goalkeeper coach from a different country than um, the goalkeepers from a different country. Um, yeah, I think we'll be interested um, to see how we uh, work to each other because I think I can learn from every culture, from every country, but uh, the other guys uh, too from me. Thank you. Should bring the mic over here. Um. <coughs> Hi, Stefan. Uh, because Edison is number one, did you have to think a long time about joining Man City? Uh, yeah, was that, that part was a bit difficult for me because the the last five years I played every game uh, in my old club, so I was in a situation to think about it to to stay maybe in a lower club, but um, there is the chance high that I play directly or to to take the chance here. Yeah, and at the end was like I was so so excited to take the chance to be here and see what happened. Yeah. You've spoken about sort of what you can learn from Javi, from Scott Carson. What is it do you think you bring to the squad uh, that they've been missing? I think a completely different culture because it's completely different how we work in Germany and how they work here in, um, in England. So it will be funny at first to, yeah, to see how it is. But I think... Um, yeah, we will learn from each other. And you've um, you said you reminded Erling Haaland that he's not scored past you. Um, are you, you going to sort of be keeping him, keeping him grounded in training? Yeah, hopefully. But I think, uh, yeah, in the training it's much easier for him to score against me because he needs the, the confidence more than me. <laughs> Any more guys? Yeah, Martin, the back please. Mm -hmm. Hi, Stefan. Hi. Is playing for Germany still a, a sort of ambition of yours? I think you were in the sort of standby squad, were you, for the Euros? Yeah. Is that still on your sort of radar, as it were? <sighs> not now, not now, because uh, after they they invite me, um, they change the the trainer team. They had also a new goalkeeper coach, and since then I, I didn't invite to the to the national team. So I don't know what happened in the in the future. But now it's for me important to, yeah, to learn here and improve here and show here my, my best performance. And at the end, I don't know what happened. We will see. Maybe long term, maybe but possibility long term. Like, uh, possibility in the future. Of course, when I think when when I get some games here and show my quality, it's a bit uh, different to show it here, like in club like Manchester City, then like in my old club, so the, the view is a bit different, yeah. Can you just come across to Alan, please? Thank you, guys. Hi, Stefan. Hi. Um, just to, talking on earlier, obviously you've seen <laughs> what he's capable of. I mean, what kind of standing did he have in you know, Germany, you know, when you as a goalkeeper would look at him? And what do you think he would achieve here and how good he can be? Yeah, his transformation is really uh, outstanding. Uh, when I saw him the first time uh, in Salzburg, he was a bit uh, thin, and now he's he's a monster. And uh, with this size, this speed, this quality in the shootings, headers, it's yeah the full package what you can get. You know, guys, we're happy. Perfect. Thank you. Guys, we've probably got a 15, 20 minute wait for the next player, but there are refreshments in the media lounge if you want to make the most of them while you wait. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Have a nice day.